Okay, just so you guys know we're, we're live. I have to test the microphones. And I'll let you know when it's muted. Okay, here we go. Last board meeting of the 22-23 year. Mic number one, check, check. Mic number two, check, check, check. Super mic, mic number three, one, two, one, two, three, check, check. Use mic number five, check, check, one, two. And the community mic number six for three people, one, two, three, check, check, one, two, three. And lastly, the podium mic that no one ever gets close enough to. Podium mic, one, two, three, four. Hubba, hubba, hubba. Who do you trust? Who do you trust? Thanks for the giggle. It's nice to have an audience.
Cheryl Cardone, Assistant Superintendent of Pupil Personnel Services, and Dr. Ruby Harris, Assistant Superintendent for School Business and Finance. Um, if you could silence your cell phones, please, that would be greatly appreciated. And just note that the emergency exits are directly behind me and directly in front of me. Okay, if I can have an approval for the agenda for this evening, June 20th, please. And a second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any objections? Any extensions? Motion carried 6-0. If I could have an approval for the minutes from June 5th, please. Or a motion to approve the minutes from June 5th. I'll and a second. I'll All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any objections? Any extensions? Motion carried 6-0. Uh, we have some student ambassadors with us this evening. First from the high school, if we could have Elizabeth Carpenter come up and give us a report on the goings on at the high school. <coughs> okay. <laughs> A lot has been going on in the high school over the past month, especially for the seniors. Um, on June 9th, we had a class day. It was a lot of fun getting to see pictures and videos of our class from over the years and to see their caps and gowns. Um, the Parade of Graduates was an amazing experience walking through our old schools and seeing former teachers. Um, thank you again to all the community members and organizations that donated scholarships to the senior class. The next day we had our prom, prom and post-prom events. Everyone had a great time at prom, taking pictures with friends and dancing. Post-prom was also a ton of fun with casino-style games, balloon animals, snacks and drinks, and a hit with this show. There were also prizes to be bought and won throughout the night. Thank you so much to all the parents, teachers, and community members who donated their time and money to post-prom. It takes a lot of resources and effort to make something like that happen, and those efforts don't go unnoticed. We really are grateful to every single person who made that night possible. Um, the orchestra, chorus, wind ensemble, and concert band had their last concerts of the year in the past few weeks. That was a bittersweet moment for us as seniors, because although it was great to look back on all our time in the music department over the years and play alongside our friends on last time, it was also sad to say goodbye to, for the most of us, more than eight years of making music together. Um, since class has ended last week, there's just been regents exams going on in the high school. The Wynn Ensemble will also be practicing sometime this week for graduation, which is coming up this Sunday, June 25th. Um, the year has gone by fast, and the past 12 years have too. Thank you to the Board of Education, Dr. Graham, and all the teachers and administration, administrators for everything that they've done for us the past decade, and for what you continue to do for the students in the Grand Island School District. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have some good news. We have Mrs. Ernst here to talk about the Grand Island High School Mastermind. Hi. Um, the Mastermind is the trivia team. I'm actually going to let them talk because they're the one that did all the work. But before I do it, before I hand it over to Logan Fox, who's our captain, I want to say something because I know he won't. Um, he has been MVP of our team for the last few years. Uh, this year, he was MVP of the league, the high scorer of the league, the MVP in the um, regional playoffs, and also made the all-state team. So, like, where they just pick people from the different teams of who are the best players. So we keep that very, and I know he won't tell about his own stuff. So I'm going to pass it over to him and let him tell you about the team. Thank you for the uh, glowing introduction. Um, <laughs> uh, so. Her. My name is Logan, and I'm here to tell you about our season this year. Um, for the first time in our history, we went undefeated, 12-0, um, and we won the regional tournament here. Um, and this is the second time in our history that we've ever been to states. 
Uh, and those states didn't go our way. This was an incredibly successful and incredible season for all of us. And uh, I just want to recognize our, uh, my teammates here, uh, Nathaniel Cohen, Baron Chellick, Elizabeth Carpenter, uh, and Sebastian Hefley, and Grace Carpenter who could not be here today. But uh, most importantly, I want to recognize our coach, Mrs. Ernst, for, for uh, keeping us together from being too rambunctious during uh, practices and uh, preparing us every week for uh, competition and just pouring uh, many, many hours into making us the best. Logan, well, could you just give the board and the community just just a quick overview of what someone might experience if they attended a masterminds competition. So there are two halves per, uh, and there are eight questions per half, and um, just whoever buzzes first and they're reading a question, um, and if they get it correct, then they get points for the question. And then there are uh, bonus questions uh, for the team that gets it right um, that each award 10 points each. If you get the um, original question, we get 10 points, uh, 15 if you're in early, and uh, we got a lot of points. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the genres uh, associated with the questions? Well, we have pretty much every genre. There's art, music, history, uh, contemporary issues, um, a lot of opera. <laughs> a lot of opera. <laughs> yeah. who, is, who is great at the opera? well-rounded team and without each of our contributions and areas of expertise we would not be able to do as well as we did this year. That's awesome. Adjudicated by someone from Erie One BOCES, is that right? Um, it's a separate division now. They used to go through BOCES. I think they might still be with Orleans BOCES, but it is through them that they run the whole tournament. So. And how many schools do you think you competed against this year? Uh, no, no, there was more than that. I think there's something like 16. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Across yeah. every region. It's, it's, yeah. it's um, private and public. Yes. Nice. How's the JV squad? Are they ready? Take over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're definitely hoping to recruit new people from, for next year because right. we're all graduating yeah. except for Grace. So. Yeah. That's awesome. Does the board have any questions for folks? Are there any, anybody else presenting? No. <laughs> Can we get a group picture with masterminds on the board right in front of the board table, please?
So if anybody remembers Cheryl Friday, when I first started um, in the personnel department, Cheryl Friday every single year would say, can we please participate in the um, SABA program? And for years, I would call every year, and they would be completely fine. They, were, they weren't accepting of any schools whatsoever. Then COVID hit. And COVID then um, opened up some of those spots. Um, I put it out to the teachers. Melissa Meselbeck decided that she'd bring a group this year. Um, she's going back next year. And then we also have another classroom at Hugh Road, Patricia Lyons, is going to bring her students as well. So I want to thank Melissa. I want to thank Jen Wood. I'd also like to thank Tammy Cerise, who also um, was a adult that uh, went to the program, along with Brett Finnan. Brett can't be with us tonight because he had a baby boy this weekend. So congratulations, <laughs> Brett. Um, so I'd like to turn it over to Melissa and she's going to introduce our stars tonight. So my students went um, ice skating every Wednesday. We started in October and we finished around March. And we started just learning how to put our ice skates on, how to put our helmets on, how to get our gloves on, which could be challenging. And the first week we had a couple kids that went on the ice for about two minutes and came off and the director said, it's all right, we'll get there, it's okay. And they really worked together as a team. By the end, half of the class was no longer using walkers. My entire class were the oldest group there, and they were support systems and role models to the other school that was there. And it was really impressive to see all of the kids in our class really become leaders. It was something that none of my students have ever done before and really were able to shine. So I'd like to call up. Oh. Okay, so um, unfortunately Dexter's not here, but Mason Donahue's here, so come on down, Mason. No. Arizona also participated and did a wonderful job. Joshua Golden is here. Come on over, Joshua. Braden, Braden was also part of our program. Rowan Ostapuk is here. Come on down, Rowan. And Alex Schomburg. No! I'll give you a minute, Alex. It's okay. You can always stand there too, okay? And Parker Young. Hunter was part of our program. And Chloe Serafini. These kids were did an amazing job. And by the end of it, they performed to music. They had ice skating shirts, and they were able to do an entire ice skating routine. We are very proud of all of you, and I'd like to thank my parents for coming and supporting us. I had this crazy idea at open house. I said, what do you think if we all go ice skating? And no one even thought a second about it. They said, absolutely, we want to do this. So it was really great to have all the parents behind our classroom and really supporting this. So great job, everyone. probably take a group picture, but I do want to extend if any of the students wanted to say a couple words about their experience, that you're more than welcome to use the microphone. It's okay if you don't. <laughs> but does anybody say
take a couple pictures, so get ready to look at this camera. I count down. This is a great group. Oh, I love the shades. Now you can see Mason. Shuffle a couple. There you go. That's good. Oh, that's perfect. All right, you're ready. Three, two, one. Sure. Look over to Mr. Austin, and I also take your picture. And any parents who want to step up and get a picture, please do. Completed a long-term substitute teaching position in our high school uh, this year. Some qualities that we identified early on is his authenticity, as he really knows his students very well. He skillfully communicates the fundamentals and has a passion for learning and improvement. And he also <coughs> has a high degree of patience when it comes to instructing music. He's a graduate of Grand Island High School, Fredonia State University, and Michigan State University, and we are certain that he will amplify our music department to even greater success. Welcome to the middle school, Dr. Hughes. I'm also very pleased to announce that Ms. Lauren Mulber will be joining us as our new middle school library and media specialist. Lauren, would you stand up, please? Ms. Mulbert has spent the last two years working as the librarian for Reach Academy Charter School in Buffalo. What impressed her team the most was her desire to have the library become the heart of the middle school. She wants to encourage student engagement through a viable and relevant space and programming. Ms. Mulbert attended Cuca College and was a star volleyball player. She earned her master's degree in library science from the University of Buffalo and we are very excited and looking forward to having her join our team. Welcome. I'm excited to introduce or reintroduce 
or say welcome back <laughs> to Caitlin Simpson as a probationary special education teacher for VCMS this year. Caitlin, please stand up. Caitlin's a proud graduate of Grand Island and Buffalo State College. She is certified in both special, ed special education and elementary education. And most recently, she's filled two maternity leaves for our two life skills classrooms this year. And she did a remarkable job. Caitlin is student-centered, highly engaging, composed, and a compassionate teacher that we are sure will do an outstanding job in our classroom. Welcome back to the middle school, Caitlin. Thank you. Thank you. Board of Education members, Dr. Graham, and district administrators. Tonight, I would like to introduce to you Mr. Luke Christina. Luke, if you could stand. Luke will be joining us at the high school in September as an English teacher. Mr. Christina has recently completed his Bachelor of Science degree in English education at the University at Buffalo, and he will be continuing his work towards his master's degree in the fall. We were fortunate to have the opportunity for Luke to work with us in the English department as a student teacher this past winter, and he did an excellent job. Um, we were especially impressed with Mr. Christina's professionalism, his ability to develop positive relationships with our students very quickly, his effort to differentiate to meet the needs of all of our students, and his desire to seek feedback in order to grow as a new teacher. Mr. Christina's passion for teaching and for helping students achieve success was very visible throughout our interview process as well as his time with us as a student teacher. We would like to welcome Luke to our high school team and we are looking forward to having him in our English department in September. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Yes. <laughs> so first I wanted to thank the, the Board of Ed for recognizing the importance of making cybersecurity and district security important on Grand Island. And I want to introduce Josh. Right. Josh has been with the district for eight years as our systems engineer. He came to us from Time Warner with a get it done attitude that has served the district well in many capacities. Josh has spearheaded our security camera refresh as well as the door access control project. Over the years, he's helped many people work through the investigation process of incidents involving technology. He's dedicated, thorough, and confidential, all aspects that make him the perfect fit for this new position. We're extremely happy he will now be filling the role of cybersecurity and data protection officer. Congratulations. 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 Any other intros before I say a few words? All right, first, Matt, congratulations for your coaching position. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you may have noticed that uh, Dr. Ruby Harris was approved uh, to resign to move on to a new position. So I would like to thank her for her years of service as our assistant superintendent for her school business and finance. She's heading to a new district in Long Island to be the new assistant superintendent of business and finance there. She'll start at the Huntington Union Free School District on July 17th. And uh, as all of you know, if you've worked with Ruby, she is a joy, she glows from the inside. Uh, just does a fantastic job in her capacity as a school business leader as well as a leader of all the other uh, departments. And uh, you just performed your duties exceptionally well. You've integrated yourself very nicely into Grand Island, not only as a resident here, but as someone who cares about the community and has done uh, tremendous community service for others. Uh, uh, she's moving from one great island to another. <laughs> And we would certainly will miss her. Let's give her a nice warm. school district. Um, this has been a great board, a great admin team. Uh, I am glad for the new adventure, but uh, it is not without some uh, 
tears and and uh, feelings of you know the loss as you gain more. So you know, I don't know if I'll be back. We'll see. My mother hopes I'll be back. Um, but I just want to thank you for your support. Uh, that confidence you had from me coming into where I stand now that has provided me with confidence to move forward. Thanks. Thank you. So also tonight appointed as the new assistant superintendent for the school business and finance is Dr. Robert Merkel. Uh, Bob, welcome to the district. Uh, we're very excited to have you. Bob comes to us from West Seneca where he served as their director of career technical education, academies, and professional learning. Bob started his studies uh, and career in machine tool technology. He went on to Buff State to pursue a bachelor's degree in mathematics and later a master's of science in career technical education. He has taught, he has coached, he has worked in the city of Buffalo at Hutch Tech for several years. He's been an acting assistant principal at Hutch Tech. He's also served as an assistant principal for Erie One Boses and a principal of the Erie Two Chautauqua Cataraugus Boses. From these positions, he became the director of career technical education academies in West Seneca. He is a person with drive and determination, which has propelled him to pursue not only all of those certifications, but a doctorate in education and leadership from Duville, as well as securing his New York State School District Business Leader Professional Certificate from Canisius College. Basically, Bob has attended almost every university in the <laughs> <laughs> Please join me in welcoming uh, Dr. Merkel. <laughs> also on tonight's agenda, uh, the board accepted John Roth's resignation. Uh, so I'm just going to say a few words about John. Uh, John is, believe it or not, he's a little shy and didn't want a lot of accolades or to be in the room when he got these accolades. But as many of you know, uh, Mr. Roth has been a fixture here in Grand Island since the August of 1973, when he accepted a position at Sidway Elementary School as a physical education teacher. Since then, Mr. Roth has been working for Grand Island as a teacher, a coach, and an athletic director, and he just concluded 50 years of service right here in our school district. John Roth graduated from Tonawana High School in 1967, he shined as an athlete in high school and, of course, later in college. In high school, he played soccer, basketball, and baseball. He was enshrined in the Tonawanda Hall of Fame in 2002. In his senior year of high school, John was offered a professional baseball contract with the Pittsburgh Pirates, which he declined. After high school, he attended NCCC, where he was named to the prestigious All-Region Athlete designation in both basketball and baseball. Additionally, he entered the NCCC Hall of Fame in 1993. Going back to 1969, John transferred to the University of Buffalo where he continued to play baseball. That summer, John was drafted by the Washington Senators as a seventh round draft pick. John also decided to commit to the Air Force Reserves at that same year. He returned to UB in 72 to finish his Bachelor of Science in Phys Ed and complete his collegiate baseball career. That same spring, Pirate Scout Sal Madley tried for a third time to get Roth's signature on a contract offering him a spot with the Pittsburgh Pirates AA affiliate. Instead, Roth earned his master's in education at Niagara University. There's no doubt that John Roth has positively influenced thousands of Grand Island students, athletes, and coaches over the past 50 years. Many of John's former students and former athletes hold him in the highest regard. I know in retirement we will see John here all the time because his four grandchildren uh, are loving sports here in Grand Island. John and his amazing wife Jean, of course, have four grandchildren who attend our schools, and that's John and Jake and Jameson and Jackson. And additionally, they love spending time with their other grandchildren, Addison, Jane, and JC. Please join me, I know he's not here, but he'll watch, I'll make him. Uh, and congratulating John Roth for his 50 years of service here in Grand Island. Right, moving on to personnel non instructional, I could have a motion to approve instructional personnel um, PNI 1 and PNI 2, please. I'll motion. And a second. 
in favor? Aye. Any objections? Any abstentions? Motion carried 6 0. And that brings us to findings with Dr. Briggs. It's a short one. Um, so we have two transportation contracts uh, on this agenda. One is for the 2023-2024 school year, and that's for mineral proceeds. And then we have one that is for the summer um, extended school year program um, that begins probably July 1st or right around there. That's why we're making sure it's on this agenda for approval. Um, the next item is C, which is the corrective action plan. Uh, the, the risk assessment, which is the internal audit that takes place every year, has uh, concluded. We did have the audit committee meet to discuss um, the findings and to go over what those corrective actions will be. I am happy to say that 90% of these are already in uh, effect. So um, some of the bigger items were um, food service and the purchasing of cameras, that order has already went into place. And that's just to make sure that as people are functioning with funds that there's some security measures and oversight. Uh, the payroll clerk has been hired. Today was her first day you approved her at the last uh, board meeting. So that was really exciting. So we'll be correcting some of those payroll things. And we have caught up on the schedule of the revenue and the uh, treasurer's reports, sorry. Um, so we have done a lot of those things. Currently, um, we will work through the rest of them, but there's no reason that these things will not will be in place or ordered before the July 1st date. So that's all great, because it's great to see that. And then we have, oh, those are all the actions, A, B, and C. If I can have a motion for finance items A through C, please. Oh. And a second? second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any objections? Any abstentions? Motion carried 6 0. Um, and then uh, subject area D is budget transfers under 15,000. I'm just going to make a note you'll have a new person that's presenting another budget transfer at the next meeting. Uh, there is a over $15,000 budget transfer coming forth. It's payroll codes to payroll codes, and it's just paying people out of the building they're really associated with and movements that have happened throughout the year. So um, you will see that, but it is all payroll to payroll. It's not anything other than that. But I just, it's uh, you know higher numbers, so I just want to throw it out. That won't be my first thing I throw it away. So. <laughs> That's it. Okay, thank you. Looks like under special education and people personnel services, we need a motion for A and B for yes. programming. Please. Can I have a motion, please? For services A and B. All motion. And a second? All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any objections? Any abstentions? Motion carried 6 0. Brings us to the superintendent's referral. Right, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I thank you for putting this uh, collage together of uh, our students at Sava. What a great program, Cheryl. Thank you for uh, helping to help facilitate that. And Ashley, I know you were mentioning just briefly about some other programs that we might want to look into as well. Definitely sled hockey. I think that they would love the Buffalo sled hockey team that is for students with disabilities. And they, uh, they have a grant for the sled to actually get the sled for students, and they compete locally, and then there's a couple of competitions in Canada, so a lot of my students in uh, my 12 on one class have competed in that over the years, and they really, if they like skating, well, this is on a sled, and it's a lot of arm use, too, but um, they really have, I've had students that have gone from Saga to doing that as well, and really, really liked it. So really great. And Cheryl, just to remind the board, how many other classes is it youth in Kite next year? So next year, Patricia Lyons' class, the class, um, class um, will also be joining next year. So just an update, I know I've been sharing with the board and the community, uh, Deanna Morris did have her surgery. Uh, her GoFundMe page is still active. 
my understanding is we got some good news over the weekend from some teachers that went to visit her. So please keep her in your thoughts and prayers as she goes through her recovery. Uh, I really want to thank all the high school administration, the parent teacher, uh, student association, and all the teachers and staff who help support our graduates, not only through the graduation parade, but the post-prom and the prom. Really a wonderful uh, weekend for our students. Um, and the, the elementary students absolutely love seeing the children visit their, their elementary schools at Sidley, Kegabine, and Heath. Um, the kids really had a fantastic time. So thank you to everybody involved for helping to organize their class day. Uh, here are just some photos of uh, students interacting with their children at Sidway. And it was really a great event, so thank you to everybody who contributed to that. Uh, we also enjoyed the PTSA installation dinner. I know Sherry, you were there, right, and Jay. Uh, Jay got a special recognition. Jay, what was the, the official title of the award? Lifetime membership award. Yeah, lifetime yeah. membership. Was surprise. Very, very honest. Very Absolutely. Very that was great. And uh, a really great dinner, wonderful teachers, staff, and administrators working together as partners to support all of the initiatives and the mission of the district. So thank you to everybody involved with that. And here's some uh, snapshots from the post prom. Again, I can't thank the teachers and the staff. Uh, who, who is this right here? Uh, is this is right. Is this more important? No. No? Derek Heisler. Oh, all right. I thought I, I got you in the photo here. <laughs> <laughs> um, really great <laughs> event. Uh, that triloquist, these students were sound asleep on the stage and then interacting with the, um, the prompts from the ventriloquist. Really great event. And nice to know that he reported it and it's free for the students too, which I thought was really great. Um, did I say what I say? <laughs> I keep saying that. It's a hit that's right. So, uh, kids did a great job, staff did a great job. Yeah, <laughs> somebody, somebody threw their voice. <laughs> uh, so, moving up days, you know, this past uh, week have been filled with celebrations, not only for our seniors, but for our fifth graders and young children uh, moving up from universal pre K to kindergarten to fifth grade to sixth grade. Really great events. Uh, the children were outstanding. Uh, they just loved being part of the celebrations here, both Kegelbine and Youth. And so uh, a lot of proud faces and excellent job by our teachers, our fifth grade teachers and our administrators who helped organize these very special recognition and events for our students. And it would be, uh, Sue's not here, but she did ask me to let everybody know that the Gizba Golf Outing is July 17th. Uh, is that your first thing? Bring your, bring your golf clubs. <laughs> your first, your second first day is Tuesday, the 18th. Uh, but yeah, this is a really important event, and um, not only did Gizba give out five thousand dollars in scholarships this year, but Gizba also um, was one of the main sponsors for the eighth grade emerging leaders conference. And John, that conference was outstanding. Uh, really great event and Gizmo sponsors that, and many other things as well. Uh, we did get a little last minute um, note that Eric and Salim were honored by the Niagara County Police Athletic League for Outstanding Achievement in Art uh, for the PAL Art Awards, which were held at Newport High School. So congratulations to Eric and Salim. And uh, also, uh, John, uh, your teacher, has done such a great job uh, not only tying together the unit uh, off to water, but having the kids uh, raise funds to support the well development in Africa, and I think this one, another $2,000, yes. does that sound right? That's right. Yeah, that is fantastic. So, was that today? That was today. Yeah, so they walk the track and uh, have pledges. And half, then... half the seventh grade one today, the other half goes tomorrow morning. Oh, excellent. And uh, really a great opportunity for the kids to understand that the world is bigger than Great Island, uh, that their efforts support 400 citizens in Africa with fresh we water. Have, yeah, we do have one well, and we're on our way to a second. Yeah, that's really remarkable. So maybe in the future, maybe we could even kick off the year just 
congratulating the students and the teacher for their work. Absolutely, it's outstanding. And as you know, we talk a lot about the biking tip line. It's really, really, really important that parents in the community know that if they can talk to a trusted adult, that they can contact us through the biking tip line. It's right on our webpage. It's anonymous, and please uh, consider using that if you have concerns about student safety. And of course, any question to the board can be emailed boegi at gicsb.org. Thank you, Ashley. Okay, under Board of Education report, we have uh, the liaison report from Sue attached for GIZBA, and I know she mentioned July 17th, so the long term one, did, so we're good there. We did not have anyone sign up for the public comment session for items not included in the agenda, so that brings us to Committee of the Whole, items and information for the roundtable, beginning with Glenn. We normally got the questions that I asked right, even though I knew the answer, which was good. Um, so we will miss you. Uh, Bob, welcome. Um, you have good shoes to fill, but I'm sure that in the meeting today, um, I'm sure we'll pull them well. Um, with respect to John Roth, um, 50 years is a long time. He has been a big part of the schools for many years. I saw him yesterday, believe it or not, at Adrian's. Um, Ooh, the nice. two softball players, <laughs> the two baseball players actually, having ice cream. Um, yeah. And uh, so the guys all over the place, I'm sure we'll see them around the air and all over the place. So congrats on his retirement. Okay. Same, absolute best of us. You really thank you for everything. I think we'll probably miss your personality the most. We've always brought so much fun to help things. Appreciate it. And, uh, um, and then the senior video I started to watch. Thank you so much. The very first scene was my daughter um, in kindergarten doing the flag show, and she was like, "You got the video." I'm like, I didn't even expect it to be videos, just pictures, but like, how beautiful! Like the whole thing is amazing. So I know it took a lot of work to do. Um, post prom was amazing. Um, I've never been to that before, but I was able to help this year and just being able to protect kids, honestly, from um, you know going out doing something stupid outside. And then I just love the rules that they have. I love the activities that they have and the way they set it up is so smart because it makes kids stay all the way till 3 a.m. Um, because they can't get the prizes until after. Like it's just phenomenal. Thought really, really you know thoughtful. My daughter stayed the whole time, which was great. Made me feel really good. So I appreciate that. Um, the, um, what was it called, the eighth grade? Emerging leaders. Emerging leaders. I tried to write it down, I couldn't remember, but phenomenal. Oh, it's so amazing. Um, love being part of that. And I love that you do personality so that you can see where they want to go. Um, you give them free choices. I, I, just the whole thing is just, uh, just amazing. And I, lo I didn't think it was for all, all eighth graders. I thought it was just for the business group, but I love that it was for all eighth graders. You know, it's just so important to help them. I was saying it before, but I wish I would have known early on where I would have, because I would have become a nurse a lot sooner, you know, if I would have had something like that. So I think it's just just so good. So, uh, Mrs. Wynn Stanley, this is great. Uh, Mrs. Chamberlain, um, just, they do a phenomenal job, so it would be really great. And then the fifth grade movie, what's your name? Which was the best part was going to both, because you are so different. And I was laughing, um, because you're much more traditional, and you are not much more traditional. <laughs> and it just, it was beautiful both ways. Like, I wish my kid could graduate from both programs, because just the way, you know, I'm laughing at one, crying at the other, like, it's just really, really beautiful. So you guys did just a phenomenal job so with everything. Um, and then I just want to switch gears real quick and just talk um, just about the board, um, and just the equity among the board. Um, you know, when I ran last year, I ran without um, any connection to any organization. Um, nobody told me to run. Um, actually, told me not to run. <laughs> but, you know, stay with them. It's political, this and that. But um, I really wanted to run. I really wanted to be a part of my kids' education. I love all of these events and everything that we do. Um, but I think it's really important that each board member has an opportunity to experience everything. Um, and I think um, right now we're not feeling that that equity at all times. Um, I think that um, it's important to have you know, diversity, equity, and inclusion um, as we meet, and I think we need that among the board. Um, more opportunities to be able to attend different events and be invited to um, interview committees, I think, are so important. Um, 
and that's why I came and that's why I wanted to come here. So that it's participating in this and we really have an insight to what goes on behind the scenes. Um, I think it's also important to be part of you know, different committees. You know, with seven of us and seven different first families and everybody has something really important to bring. Um, you know, it's, it's I love the reorg um, meeting that we have every year and I would love to see every community, um, including the, the town wellness committee on that um, I think it would be just important that you know not one single person has uh, a say in one community, but we need those different first families. We need that diversity. And if we don't have that then we're not experiencing you know, the wealth of knowledge that we have here on the board. So I would like to see that next um, next month on the reorg meeting. We don't have a policy in place to say that that shouldn't be. I know we have case law on it, which is also connection with the Jamie Board of Commons, so we do have mixed already. Um, so I think that that we should be a part of it so that we can all have an opportunity to join um, those different things. So I think you know we need to show diversity after being the Jamie Board right here in Monterey, and by doing that, everybody has the opportunity to join that. Um, I also want to say, during the third graduation, you were so kind. Me and showing me where to go, where to stand, when to get up, so I can. Do so. Congratulations to John on his return. And I just figured out I've known him for 46 years. 46 years. 46 years. Oh my gosh, I entered here at Grand Island High School. <laughs> um, so wishing him a happy, healthy retirement, well deserved 50 years. It's So I will just ditto what everyone has said. Congratulations, John, on such a wonderful career. You've been, you've been a role model. You've been so impactful for just countless number of students here at Grand Island. So we appreciate all the years that you've dedicated your life to our school district and all the things that you have done for our students. Ruby, we will miss you. Congratulations on your new position, and we wish you well. And welcome, Dr. Marco. Look forward to working with you. And um, I just want to say a quick thanks in general to all the teachers and administrators that put so much time, effort, and energy to the graduation ceremonies, be it at the high school, the middle school, uh, moving up ceremonies at the elementary school. It is just a ton of work. And um, every, I just I hear great reviews, like she said, from everybody that has attended. So thank you very much for that. Bob. <laughs> Congrats to John. Ruby, we will miss you. I will miss your charts, your diagrams. <laughs> 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 you gotta work on your smile, fellas. Good luck. Thank you. Um, so, congratulations to John. Actually, he was my tennis coach here at Grand Island. So, um, yeah, he's a great coach. He really pushed us. I remember those, um, what was it called, like suicides? <laughs> oh, awful, but, <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, but he held us accountable. And Ruby, congratulations. Thank you so much for breaking things down in the most simple of terms. And Bob, I hope you can do the same, um, because I certainly need that. And um, yes, yeah, so thank you. So good luck, and I know you'll you'll be great in the next chapter of your life. Mike. I think, I think I just want to say, I know, I remember what it was like not long ago to be administrator, so thank you to all those who have put on all these great displays. Thank you to the teachers who have participated and for making it to their finish line for this year, because I, I know I spent some time today talking to many of them, and they're really proud of the students and what they've been able to accomplish with their families in Grand Island, and also the parents who came out to volunteer for the other, the, all those events and the ending events. Welcome, you know, same thing to Bob. And, and the teachers that we hire, I often get to meet many of those people first with Brian, and it's really exciting to see the new, fresh, um, creative ideas they bring. And I'm going to miss you, Ruby. <laughs> so um, good luck to you, and have a good day. You're not a stranger. I have to come back for my mother. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Um, I forgot when I was introducing um, everybody for Saba to thank Felicia, um, Dr. Palachi, you. Um, had to rearrange schedules and you were there and you know there were some issues that had come up with an injury and things like that so I thank you for your support of that program as well. 
Um, I wanted to congratulate all the new hires. Um, congratulations, Josh, in your new role. You know, I look forward to working with you in that new role. Um, but I want to say congrats to John Roth. You know, it is an end of an era. You know, he has been here for 50 years. Both of my daughters, you know, remember him. In fact, um, my oldest daughter's in town right now, and I said, hey, Mr. Roth is retiring. She said, oh my gosh, I love him. And I think that's a general, you know, um, thing that everybody says about John Roth. How can we not? Um, Bob, looking forward to working with you. Um, I'm sure it's going to start soon. And last but not least, Ruby. <laughs> I'm going to miss you. It's been great. You've been my colleague and my friend. And um, hopefully, um, I can hook you up with Jenna. So the two of oh, you. I didn't know that she <laughs> 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 so, you, so you have a friend down there? You know, she's <laughs> And I know it's not goodbye. Yeah. We'll stay in touch. So thank you for everything. again to everyone. Uh, I do want to say a special thank you for supporting initiatives we put in the budget. So that includes me congratulating Josh. Uh, <laughs> job well done. I can't, I can't wait to call and ask you about this position. But um, I think he'll be great in it. Um, it has been great. I will see, I think, all of you at graduation. Uh, so, you know, another sappy moment. And it's been great working with everyone. You'll do wonderful. Um, my phone number is not changing, even though I did think about changing my cell phone number. Uh, what's the most, I'm not doing that. So if you're in need, reach out. Um, and Dr. Graham, it's been great. Uh, and Shirley, Mike, it's always interesting. So yes. Yeah. All right, that's it. So thank you, everybody. I, just a special thank you to our principals and assistant principals. Director of Transportation, Director of Construction and Technology. There's a lot of work, a lot of good, hard work that happens behind the scenes and also in the public. And uh, some of the slides hopefully are representative of that that we showed tonight. And actually, every board meeting, uh, whether it's led by a teacher, or administrator, there are wonderful uh, things happening in Grand Island. And there's no doubt that our administrative team uh, is emblematic of the mission statement inspiring students to achieve their greatest potential. So great job for, uh, for everybody. Really, I can't wait for graduation and to hear your first graduation speech. That should be awesome. <laughs> and uh, Ryan, thank you for your work this year uh, in, in, as a teacher and Matt, welcome, welcome aboard. Uh, so, um, and Ruby, you know, all the best. You know, and we'll stay in touch and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you, Ashley. Uh, congratulations to our seniors. Just a couple dates. Sunday, June 25th, is graduation in finance. The reorganizational and board of education meeting is July 10th at 7 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. And with that, I'd like to ask for a motion to adjourn the regular board meeting at 8.25 p.m. And a second. 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 Okay, second. All in favor? Aye. Any objections? Any abstentions? All in favor? Six to in favor, not the six to the six. Good night, everyone. Thank you.